Good morning. Finishing off the laws of the halachot that one has to have concentration during their silent, I mean, during their uh, silent prayer. This is not only for shacharit, it's for shacharit mincha as well as avit. We mentioned the concept that we're not allowed to be holding anything. And we said anything that one holds that um, deteriorates their concentration, then that would not be allowed. If on the opposite, it adds towards their concentration, they are allowed to hold it. We gave an example of someone's traveling somewhere, and if they don't hold something which is precious to them, they're going to be thinking about that constantly, so they'd be allowed to hold it. We gave the example of children yesterday. Today we're going to examine something else. Listen to the following. Um, if a person's praying, and next to them, in the same vicinity, they hear a book, obviously a sefer, whether it's a sidur, or any other type of book that obviously is a holy book, but not a sefer Torah, we're talking printed svarim. If one hears it fall on the floor, or it was there from before, they only noticed it once they already started and they're in the middle of their amidah, the halakha is as follows. If it bothers them, which it depends on the scenario, let's say if it's on a step above, so it's maybe not that bad, but let's say if it's straight down on the floor, and because that is over there, now you have become, uh, so to say, insecure. That's maybe not the best word. But now you're not able to concentrate fully in your Amidah. Listen to the Halakha. You're allowed to stop your prayer in the middle and walk over, pick it up, and put it on a table or bring it next to you. Anything that it's not on the floor. Because that ruins one's concentration. Listen to a greater Kiddush. Okay, now obviously you're not allowed to speak in between and you're not supposed to continue praying while you're moving as well. You're supposed to stop praying, ideally in between brachot, if you, if it's, if you can't, you can't. Move over, do it, and then, and then continue your prayer. Listen to the next one. Or, or similarly, if you see tefillin on the floor. If you see tefillin on the floor, it's the same halakha. Now look at the next halakha. If you are praying in the middle, and you're in the middle of your amidah, however, you started your amidah off by heart. You don't have a sidur in front of you. And then you get, mixed up, someone said something out loud, not in this synagogue, but in another synagogue, maybe a phone rang, and, and now you are not able to concentrate. You're allowed to, wherever you are, walk over to the closest sidur in order to continue your prayer. Furthermore, if you started without reading glasses and you really need reading glasses, you're also allowed to go over to get reading glasses to continue your prayer. Again, all of these halakhot have to do with promoting the <coughs> utmost concentration towards, uh, towards the words that we are praying and delivering towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if you, well, so, so fine. On that question, if you <coughs> lost your place and you don't know where you are, you go back to the place where you know you have not said. So let's say you know you said the first five blessings, but you're in question if you're between number five and number seven, or something like that, you go back to number five. The ones that you know for sure you did, you don't, go, you don't redo. The ones that you're in doubt is the ones that you go back to, to redo. May I answer all our, our tefillot.